Hey, welcome. Hello. <laughs> Good to see you. Thank you. Like so that. you've been in New Orleans for Indeed. the past how many months? Shooting? Five months. That's a long production schedule. Mm -hmm. Well, they're still at it. The, the freaks are at it right now. They're tweeting me with their, you know, lit, little flippers <laughs> and <laughs> their little, their little <laughs> with their toes or whatever they, th whatever they have. Oh yeah. So I know you have, um, you had a big episode, um, but people are calling the episode. Yes. In the spirit of your character. Oh. And I understand you even without words. I know all you ever wanted was a family. So you just remember how far away I am. I will always be your family. You have been there for two seasons. Mm -hmm. I mean, on the show, which is you're the first crossover character. Um, but having sort of been a little bit sort of like, a, you know, playing secondary to like other characters and having that episode, how, what, what was that moment like getting the script first of all and sort of having those days on set? Ugh. It was awesome. Uh, I, I got about 12 hours notice before we started that episode. So when you get 12 hours notice and you get that script, what what do you do? Do you sleep the yeah. night before? Yeah, you, you get do. a good night's sleep. Okay. If you can. Um, you don't go to the French Quarter. You don't, <laughs> <laughs> you don't uh, bear your breast for beads. Uh, there will be other nights for that. Um, that's, the, that's the rap party that's for the, the show. Party. Do you guys all go out in New Orleans? I mean, oh, you yeah. had to have gone out. And, of course. Who's, who's the biggest partier of the, of the group? Am. Are you really? <laughs> yes. No, does I Jessica mean, go out? Does Jessica Lang go out? Does she, does she party with the rest of you? Or um, She actually threw us a party. She did? Yeah, that was really lovely. What yeah. kind of party does she throw? Is it like an elegant soiree or is it like, let's, I'm trying to get in, in, some insight into her. Well, the party that she and Sarah and Kathy threw together uh, was actually held at the Country Club, which at one time, um, until only recently, was a clothing optional club. Um, oh. It's not clothing optional anymore. Sounds like So wrong. no. So, I'm sorry, okay. Jessica Lane did not throw us a naked. A topless. <laughs> it would have been fantastic, you know, in the spirit of the show. It would have been great. True. I always think that it's a tough thing to act, you know, use somebody else's words. Mm -hmm. and and make that natural. But I think it's almost a tougher thing to act without words and make people feel so much. Uh, yeah, in a way, it's almost, is more difficult. Because uh, you can't rely on that. All you have is this. Mm -hmm. How do you sort of adjust, how have you adjusted as an, as an actress from other things you've done before? Because this is so much, like you said, about this. Well, yeah, I mean, that that is a cha challenge for me, for sure, because I do have you know, a stage background and comedy background where I love to just perform to the back row and, yeah. you know, just and let it rip. Yeah, bigger, yeah. Yeah, I think, you know, for that reason, like the name game, if you remember, in the asylum, that, I was totally in my element. I was, the, you know, letting my freak flag fly, you know, in the biggest way. I remember one of the ADs from, with a big bullhorn saying, everyone can go bigger except Pepper. <laughs> you were already there. It was you like I was already there, yeah. Do you have a favorite scene that you've shot on the show? You know, dressing down Dr. Arden was really thrilling, like actually getting to speak for the first time. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, monologues. I'd gone from monosyllabic to monologue. Um, and then, uh, you know, of course, the, the name game was like the blast, uh, biggest blast yeah. ever. Um, but, you know, the, the episode of, a, of Freak Show, rather, was um, just really thrilling because, like I said, I'd been, you know, kind of stacking chairs and delivering the fat lady <laughs> food for so long that it, being able to really like have an emotional arc, you know, temper tantrums and crying fits and tender goodbyes. And it was like, wow, like a real actor's workout. And I know in the, your audition, your first audition, they had you sort of do something like that with a ball or can you describe yeah, what that Yeah, they like? gave me a ball and they asked me to try to get me to play with them. Which of course now we understand what that means. Like they, Pepper's first line, uh, as she sort of introduces the asylum, she says, play with me. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know, that's what that was. Of course, I didn't know what that meant at the time. And you had to do one of Jessica Lange's monologues? Mm -hmm, or, that's yeah. correct. I mean, again, and, and that, that was, was to, to show that I had range, that I could handle being fixed by the aliens and coming back and monologuing eight, eight episodes later. A lot of dramatic actors and actresses, when you meet them in person, they're extraordinarily funny, mm -hmm. and vice versa. Why mm -hmm. do you think that is? 
Um, I know why comedians can be very dramatic. I don't know why, dra you know, dramatic folks can be comedic, but, you know, I think there's a lot of pain in comedy. And the opposite, on the other side? Comedy is sort of just something you have inside, like you're just sort of born with. Yeah. Um, and so I think it's easier to turn on the drama. And in my case, for example, like Pepper would have been very easy to do in a comedic way. And in fact, there were lots of times where I almost had to really tether that you know, tightrope. Yeah. Um, if I went a little too far, it was too much. And in fact, sometimes I even wonder if when I see the episodes and they use me so sparingly, if I didn't maybe cross cross the line, or maybe not cross the line, but maybe it changed the tone in the show somehow. Right. In fact, every now and then I'd run into a director who would say, ah, you're hilarious in tonight's episode. And I think, it's not a comedy. Right, you're like, oh, I wasn't Thanks. trying to be. I wasn't trying to be. And then last but not least, I know uh, IMDb named you one of the top 10 breakout stars. Yeah. And you beat, I just, I'm sure you're aware of this, Jamie Dornan, who plays the famous Christian Grey in Fifty Shades. Oh. You actually beat him. Wow. I think that's pretty huge. Wow. Well, he'll be next year. <laughs> but what was that moment like? I mean, I guess it was based on the number of searches, how many mm -hmm. times you're searched on IMDb. Exactly. Um, uh, yeah, no, I mean, all of a sudden, bam, it was five, two weeks straight, and then three, and then two, two or one, one, two weeks straight. So it was just like out of nowhere. And I'd been like, you know, 93,000 or something uh, right before Asylum. So it was it's kind of out of nowhere. People love Pepper. The fact that you have Pepisode, people said Pepper for Prez. I know people have tattooed your face on Whatever. themselves. Mm -hmm. What's the strangest that you've seen or heard of? Um, I mean, that's pretty weird. I've got a whole <laughs> the wall of art. I mean, it's just amazing the, the, the creativity that this character's inspired. Why do you think that is? Oh, um, I mean, I think people really respond to her na naivete, and you know, especially in a show like this, it's, it's just full of evil doers. And there's this one little, you know, victim in it all. It sort of gives us hope. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. It was great having you here. Thank you. You're so talented. Oh, the show you. is so incredible. I'm a fan. Yay! And thank we all, you. I think we all have our, you know, own little alter ego, and it's nice to know that, you know, we can. That it's okay to be evil. And yeah. Put people in formaldehyde. Oh, so it's okay? It's okay. You're giving me <laughs> license? Just no freaks. Pick on, pick on your own kind. Okay, got it. <laughs>